I should also build out this conveyor line, but we'll save that for later. Because I do need the resources, like the encased industrial beams, in order to get the conveyors over there up and running. Oh yeah, this is getting filled out nicely. So, let's take two stacks of explosives this time instead of one. We do this first. For you explosives. Yeah, two, maybe three stacks. And take one of these. Don't want to take too many because I already have plenty over there. Then restock the rods here. Pop off the wires. Pop off the cables. Uh, what else? Rotors, we'll do that. Copper sheets, I said I would be getting the copper sheets elsewhere. Now before I forget, I need to take like a couple stacks of computers with me. Like how many do I need? Fuel generator, it's only five. Let's top this off. And then the computer's over here. I guess we'll take just one stack. And then this thing right here, this is still going. You know, it's the heavy modular frames that are being bottlenecked, it looks like. I have a whole bunch of these now. That's like, what is it, 200? 300, 400, 400, 800, 12, 16, 20, let's just say 24, 2400 that is. So we're about a quarter of a way there. That's why I want to get lots of these early because it does take a long time. And let me just double check real quick the bottleneck for heavy modular frames. It's still encased industrial beams, okay. So, what else do I need? I guess top off the modular frames. And we'll also get rid of our uh, mycelia. Get rid of this. Uh, oh yeah, plastic. Forgot the plastic. Right, we'll let's get rid of these first. Like the plastic is all the way over here. I also need to top off on the reinforced iron plates. Like how's that going at this point in time? How much do we have? Okay, it's filling up nicely. And then we'll try to get as much plastic sheets as possible. Oh yeah, we also need to top off the encased industrial beams. Because we're still using MK4s, right? So, when you get that going. That's all we have for plastic. Or... I guess I'll take from here. Good thing I did that. I'm only filling up a little bit slowly because these are still MK3s, but that's still fine for the time being.
Ooh, that was nice. All right, load up on encased industrial beams and then we'll head back. Don't want to load up on too much though. So it really depends on how much we have in here. So we just do that. And then we'll get our copper sheets. Well, there's a slug right there I never got. You know, once we get the hover pack, like all these slugs that I'm seeing, there's a purple one up there. There's blue. Like all these slugs that I'm seeing, like we're going to go get them. Like as soon as I get the aluminum sheets and the aluminum casings going, like I'm just going to go slug and hard drive hunting because we need to build up a stockpile of that and that takes time. Okay, let's go down here, get some copper sheets. Gotta remember I built a hyper tube going in this direction. I just have the storage like all the way over here though. Just fully load this up. Wait, I'm not exactly sure why the top one up here has more than this bottom one. Not really sure on that. Yeah, whatever. Whatever is not full anymore. I suppose we're not producing any more silica from the bauxite simply because we're not using the alumina solution yet. There's a slug up there and slug over there, like all the way over there. There's another one over there. Oh, and one over there. Like, yeah, there's a lot of slugs in this area and I need to be getting them. Just so I can overclock everything and everything. Did I just say everything and everything? Hmm. I'll stick with it. I like the sound of that. Oh, I also need to do something with the quartz crystals. It's like, I got this pretty early, but never really used it. Like, the only thing it's used for is like the... What's its face? The really advanced thing. Like, the oscillator... What's its face? But anyway, let's get back at this. Don't need this here anymore. Actually, it looks like we're refilling our stocks. Well, it's probably because of these M this MK4 now. So... Probably has something to do with it. Or it's still draining this line. Anyway, let's get back at this. I'm gonna have this silica lot. Oh, really? Uh, 
we're gonna have this going down over here just a little bit get this back Then we'll do this. Oh, I also need to put the fuel generator before I forget. Because we have a lot of fuel here at this point in time. Missing bro- Oh! Rubber! What happened to our rubber? Oh god. I'm stupid. What the hell? So, I got the computers, but now the rubber's gone. Jeez. Alright, well, I guess still no more fuel generator for the time being. Okay, so the silica is going in this direction. You know, how about we just tap this going over here right now? So we need to zoom in that direction some more. So I'm going to store some stuff. I'm going to cut down some more trees or blow them up, whichever. Put this all here for the time being. Blow this all apart and then we'll zoop. Nice. And more of this stuff as well. This is why it's good to store stuff here. Just so you have these materials accessible to you when you need them in large quantities. Come on.
Go over there, and then I'll blow up whatever's there as well. I guess we don't really need that much space. So... Can't afford... We need... Case industrial beams and copper sheets. Alright, let's get those back. They're from this one. And we could just fill this in. Ah, oh, there we go. This is nice. Alright. Now the copper sheets. But we need the aluminum solution and coal. That's what we need. Uh, plastic refineries. And then we'll just put it like right over here. This is the output, this is the input. Now we're missing mode. <sighs> Forgot about the motors. I'll need to put the refinery here anyway. So I guess I'm building this manually. Now let's see here. Refinery. No, I need the it's already in the hot bar. I'm just going to convert these to MK2s. Also need a splitter here. Or we'll do that later. Let's focus on the pipes first. Let's bring it down here. this here it would do horizontal or vertical like so this goes back to auto. Horizontal to vertical. I guess back to auto. Alright, so we got the Lumina solution down here. It turned this to aluminum scrap, which we need the coal for. We're almost done. For 20 per minute. I do need a way to get rid of the water, though. Which is why I'm going to set up some coal power here. Put this like right over here. And cross junction.
Gonna be hard to lock in, but I'll try anyway. And this works. Okay, so we deal with the power. Or deal with the water, I should say. And I'm just gonna put like a buffer here. Like an industrial fluid buffer, if I can find it. There we go. And then aluminum scrap, 360 per minute. So definitely keeping these on their own lanes. I should get rid of this. Make it a little bit closer, except... Yeah, we want it a little bit out of the way here. Yeah, there we go. Move this here. Okay, so we have three lanes for the aluminum scrap. Just need to power this up and then bring the coal over here. Where's the power lines? Or power poles? There it is. Okay, we need to connect this to power. Or at least it'll get the Lumina solution. We store it in so that the refineries up there will continue. And you know what? I just remembered I was going to do something. Completely forgot about it. gonna put fluid buffers but I guess I'll get rid of these just small ones do it like this oh jeez oh, Fluid buffer right over here. Line it up with this thing. Wait. You're lined up. Yeah, you lined up correctly. What the hell? Okay, there we go. Get rid of this. Horizontal to vertical for this one. This one... This can go there. There we go. So it's going to have a little bit of storage for Illumina solution. It is all the way up there. It's going to take some time to get down through here. So this will at least keep it going if there's any stoppages somewhere. 
Anyway, I need to... Actually, the pipe... The pipe stuff is done. Let's go get our mergers and splitters back. Okay, how about I just get the pull first, then we'll decide how to best get it back up there. And I'm hoping to at least get our aluminum ingots out. Not up here. Because what I want right now is... I just want to take a break. Like, I'm almost six hours in, and... That's actually going to be a problem for me, because... Uh, I'm actually recording to a RAM disk. And I might run out of space. Like, I only have about... 55 gigabytes of RAM dedicated to the RAM disk. So... I need to... Wait, I need to get back up there. Don't I? Where am I? They should be like up here. Yeah, if I go through here, I should be able to reach it. Yeah, you're hiding here. I'm just gonna ignore you guys. Yeah, there's my conveyor line. Now it is full of coal, that means it's powered up. We'll just continue this. I don't really want to go to the gas though. 